Someone make me laugh so we can check that. <laughs> Where's <laughs> the bee? Wow, you guys suck. Hey, never ask a comedian to make yeah, you, you laugh. That's, that's, the wrong that. that's the wrong attitude. I literally hate that, but I asked anyways. Uh, Everybody, come on, it's time to listen. Get together, the show is about to begin. Bring your friends and your cows and all your chickens. Here we go again. Time to laugh and maybe even learn something. Oh, who am I kidding? You're not gonna laugh. Either way, it's time to get started with the Sundial Podcast. Hello. Hi. Oh, you didn't finish it? No, I did. You say hi, everybody. Oh, I do. Yeah. Okay. I'm one not more a man time. of. Okay. One, one. Two. The Sundial Podcast. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that good? Is that yeah. the traditional opening? <laughs> yeah, it is. Every like, single time, I just want to be open. Usually, Lauren's mad at me because I'm trying to turn this into a radio show. Yeah, now I'm mad. Now I'm mad at you because you didn't follow the order. protocol. Well, welcome to another episode of the Send Out Podcast, a special holiday episode. Holiday. I'm James Wagner. I'm Lauren Moliterno, yes. editor in chief. And second most important, James Wagner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was uh, the way I started that would have indicated that you were second most important. I know. That's why it's like okay. <laughs> but then I added my name again, making me more important. Overall, but well, welcome to a special <laughs> holiday episode where we're spreading good cheer all around. Um, we're singing loud for no one to hear. Yes, every single day that it is Christmas, which is one day or any other holiday for that matter. We're inclusive. Um, yeah, this is a special episode because it's a holiday episode, and mm-hmm. also we have an audience member. We have an audience member, uh, Miss Sydney Lawson from OUTV. Say Woo! hi. There you go. <laughs> Uh, what you guys don't know is we have a woo sign for the audience, and we just plugged it in. We also we also have a zoink sign. Zoink. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad. Okay, I got a flipper on this, so anytime I need a zoink <laughs> or a wo- zoink. Yep. <laughs> Took her a while to read it. She needs to put on her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so this is a special holiday episode. Not only do we have a audience member, but we have somebody who doesn't believe in the holidays. They don't believe in that Christmas exists. They don't believe that Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, uh, f- Festivus, um, f- Holiday Snake Man Day, Holiday Snake Man Day. They don't believe any of that exists. So we're gonna we're gonna Boxing Day. Boxing Day, yeah, important Canadian holiday. Boxing Day. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna introduce him. His name is Archie Barton. He's a writer for the Sundial. Hi, that's me. And yeah, I don't believe in the holidays, and you can't do anything to convince me otherwise. So I think I think through the magic of Christmas and holiday spirit, and the fact that this podcast is an hour, we will convince <laughs> him in an hour that ah, the on. holidays are for everybody, including a grumpy old Archie. I am grumpy and old. Yes, he is. <laughs> and with us is our another writer, Harish Manan. That's me. You requested it. He's yes. here. Yeah. yeah. He's here he, to spread the Christmas cheer. He, he friend was of the su- podcast. Friend yeah, friend of the, of the podcast. podcast. He was summoned by Mitchell's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Wait, nice now, message. now do you have a message one. for Mitchell? Oh, dude, that. That Ooh, made too my bad. Day. We are on a <laughs> schedule. We are on a schedule. Have a no. I just, I just wanted to tell Mitchell, like. That message made my day, and it was it was it was such a good message. I don't know how to talk, and you know I just have you trouble expressing my feelings. You know, and and I don't understand what it's like to be you, like you said. But you you gotta understand. You don't understand what it's like to be me, where like I can't express how I feel ever. Did that melt? Did that melt our I resident melt miser's heart? heart? I love you, Mitchell. Uh, bah. Oh, Ooh, he so lost close. the humbug. He lost the humbug. Four out of humbug. five. Bass. Oh, <laughs> so that's like an excited sheep. <laughs> Four out of five bass. I like this like love story we're forming. <laughs> I like it. This is a nice a canonical arc. We've yes. moved away from Roger, and now we're to Mitch and Harish. Yes. Uh, Mish? Mish. <gasps> no, oh, Hitchell. 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 <laughs> you used, Hitchell. Wait, uh, tweet us your... Which one? Which uh, one you want? Any of them. It could be any one you any, can make up. Any combination. So we're going to have to look a lot. <laughs> well, no, no, no. You also tag it with hashtag... Unlimited churros. Hashtag. Unlimited churros. <laughs> Unlimited or you churros. could just... 
tweet at us. Or just tweet at the Sun Hell. Again, we're establishing this early because this is going to happen a we lot. We want you to really episode. think, of, like, you can listen to us, but also we really need you to be thinking about their couple name. Mm-hmm. That's, That's going to be really inconvenient if Taco Bell ever, like, <laughs> has a churro sale. <laughs> like, has a Tuesdays where they offer, like, Taco <laughs> Tuesdays also has Let's unlimited like, why churros. Why are all these tweets about this weird <laughs> podcast? Yeah. And it's, like, two tweets about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's just, why is Jackie It's, <laughs> it's me and Jackie. Uh, uh, oh, oh, are we to the portion where we shout out to all our viewers? Yeah, yes. we got some people that were upset with us last time. Yeah. Um, all right, so we got Harish. <laughs> that's me. He's here. We got RG listens to it, but he's here. And he's grumpy. But mm. he's grumpy this time. Um, Travis. Mm hmm. He was mad at us last time. Yep. Sam. Mm hmm. Shout out. Hannah. Mm hmm. Amara, I think. Amara. Then we have some alumni. Jackie. Jackie, Ivy, Ivy. Mm. I think your brother listens to it. Uh, yeah, shout out to Tyler. Shout out to Tyler Molitano, my second favorite mayor, Molitano, right behind Larry. I've already <laughs> said that before, but yeah. Larry Molitano, favorite Molitano. It got cut out of one of the other podcasts. Did it? Well, yeah, it, it better stay out. in this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I also like the idea of it being cut out of every podcast, <laughs> is the fact that I missed. No, you've mentioned it three times, and it got <laughs> cut out in the first one. <laughs> oh, my the goodness. The first time you mentioned it. Hey, you can't keep the man down. No, I cannot. Um, so... Since this is a holiday one, we're just going to fill it with... I know. I'm sorry. I don't know why we invited you on this one. If it was going to be holiday theme, we should have had somebody more joyous about the occasion. Um, you do, Harish. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's, that's, Harish I'm is the our... the joyous one. I he's love our foil. He's our foil to RG. Now, RG, I'm going to ask you a question. Why are you so negative towards the holidays? It's such a joyous occasion. Because the holidays... Hear me out. Mm-hmm. The holidays are just so... Fake, you fake. know. Mm-hmm. You go around, you wrap a present, you light a candle, and yeah, for what? Just one. You, you light one candle, and singular. Then maybe, Unless you're Jewish, then you then you, <laughs> then you like you light eleven. Several. You, eight, you light eight, several candles. Eight. <laughs> eight candles. <laughs> but everyone lights at least one candle. Oh, wait, no, isn't it nine? Because there's one that there's one in the middle. One in the middle. It's symmetrical. I know that. It's the most important one. Yeah. Mm. You, yeah. Yeah. So that's why you think it's all fake. It's all pretext. It's fake. You you light a candle. You pat a child on the back. And yeah. For what? For what? You know? Just but the just kid says, thanks, mom. I don't appreciate you. You know? <laughs> yeah. Every time. Every time. Anytime I pat a kid on the back, he goes, no, thanks, mom. Don't appreciate you. Yeah. And, and I go, like, why? Go pick your nose, Jimmy. You know? Yeah. Fucking Jimmy. Kid. Pardon me. I hate Jimmy's. <laughs> just awful. Sprinkles? Preferred way of calling <laughs> All right, with that, with that, just I'm sure eight people just turned off the podcast. <laughs> you know what? If instead of turning off the podcast, I would request that people lower the volume on it so we still get the play. <laughs> just turn it all the way down, like during down. during put, a class. Put your phone down. Put your take phone a, down. Take a lap around the neighborhood. Yeah, you you need it. You you need you need a wow. Self, you need a self care moment. <laughs> you need a self care. No, you know? just like it's not because you need exercise. No, you need no, the you fresh just, air. You need you the fresh air. Some fresh air, clear your mind. Get away from your fake relatives who. Ooh, <laughs> RG, right oh, the holidays back down. What a Grinch. Kachow. Kachow. Uh Lightning McQueen, known Grinch, <laughs> hater of the holidays. <laughs> Um, I saw Cars too. Did you? No, <laughs> I did. I was excited for Cars too. Cars I like too. Cars. The 2011 Here, classic. Here, uh, James, yeah. say that uh, joke again. The what? Which the one? G- the oh, I don't care for Jimmy's. I prefer they call them sprinkles. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna turn on the sign. What is it gonna be? <laughs> it's a laugh track. Oh, I turn on the uh turn on a laugh track on your phone sign. <laughs> it's so weird that Sydney's making that noise. Yes, yeah, Sydney and it's weird that I told her to use an app, but she just used her she mouth. She just opened her mouth and it's the sound of multiple people. Sydney, <laughs> have you did you eat anybody recent? Are you the voice of God? That's kinda inspiring, actually. Is it? Oh shit! Bah. Oh, never mind. RG's that back was to close. being. That RG's was close. RG's back to being mad. So let's. I think. An app for this. I think there is. <laughs> There's a crack. There's a crack Fruits. in the uh, all in the facade. Sound effects. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, we have already gone off the rails about oh. uh, ten minutes into the podcast. We, we can get back in here. We can get back in with a classic. We'll do a classic thing. Maybe, maybe to cheer up RG. Mm. I know it's a game that a lot of people love. But Mitch we'll do, really. Mitch was excited. Mitch about was that. very excited about this. <laughs> We're gonna do a special holiday edition of Ten Out of Ten. So with this uh, special holiday Ten mm. Out of Ten, it's gonna be the same as normal. 
Um, it's going to be a ten of ten, but it's going to be a holiday theme. So for those who have never listened to this podcast, why is this one your first one? <laughs> why, why did you choose this one? This is already we're ten minutes in, and we've already played eight sound effects from a phone. <laughs> Um, From a phone nowhere near the microphone. Yeah, nowhere near. So <laughs> it's, like, even be it's like a <laughs> cringle. Uh, thanks to audience member Sydney Lawson. Um, but 10 out of 10 is imagine... Yo, oh, i sorry. I just had the sign on. I'm sure you probably couldn't even hear it. Um, so the 10 out of 10 is imagine the perfect person. Just you want to marry them. You want to love them. You want to... They have all the things that you like about them. Like but they hate the holidays. Okay, for some people, that could be a 10 out of 10. This one might be a little bit challenging. Mm. All right, so you have that. And then there's just one fatal flaw, one thing that could really detract it, and you have to decide whether you would want to keep going despite that or if that's just a deal breaker, a straight-up deal breaker. So for this holiday, 10 out of 10, Do you it have is. one already? I've got one. I think okay. I got one. 10 out of 10, but they think the pronunciation of Christmas, of Merry Christmas is, and I'm sorry because a friend is going to be very mad at this, Mary Chrysler. <laughs> it is, Mary Chrysler is the official way to pronounce Christmas. What do they think the car is called? A Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. So, so that way, through the rest of the year, it still affects them. Right. Like, it's still oh, just oh, like... So it's not, okay. <laughs> How many times do you... <laughs> <laughs> do you say Chrysler when you mean the car? Uh, what if they drive? Do they drive a Chrysler? They do drive a Christmas. Oh. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they are very proud of their Christmas. <laughs> so, like, do they fight people on on what it's called? Or they just call they're, it They're themselves? like a more, like, hardcore conservative Christian when it comes to people saying happy holidays. So happy holidays, they'd be like, no, you mean Mary Chrysler. <laughs> and even for Merry Christmas, they'll go... Um, I think you mean Mary Chrysler. <laughs> Wait, so they don't, because I would just assume that they think people saying Merry Christmas is them being like making a joke. Yeah, and nobody should make a joke at oh, the birth no one of. Oh, should make a joke about okay about God's child, it's Jesus Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about if they married into a Jewish family? Do you think that would affect it? Probably, because it uh, would... Well... Wait. Are they marrying me as yes. a Jewish person? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Welcome to the faith. <laughs> oh, man, my mom's not even Jewish either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that would mix it up. Because I think some people, like you, you don't celebrate Christmas for the religious aspect yeah. of it. I celebrate it because it's a secular holiday. You celebrate the secular holiday. <laughs> the commercialization. I celebrate commercialization. <sighs> uh, that, uh, uh. That, that got to RG. Our, ooh, I thought ooh, we, we, we some, had him. We got some oh. snaps from our audience members. Oh, no. <laughs> we had him, we had him with, the, with the story. He was kind of tearing up. But then you brought back the consumerism of the I mean, holidays, bah. Harish. And he's back. He's back into the Baham Why don't you go buy some candles? Ooh, I just will. one. Just one. Just no, now that he's I mean, in the Jewish faith. <laughs> I need nine. He needs nine. We think. <laughs> We're pretty sure. I'll just go ask my rabbi yeah. which one it is. Are you Googling it? Yeah. Uh, we'll take a nice uh, yeah. fact checking. So I know this one didn't lead to a bunch of discussion. Yeah. But I think this is a very interesting thing. This is the classic <laughs> exchanging of words that falls into ten out of ten. Mm-hmm. What has, do we think? Eight it candles. Has nine. Eight candles, nine branch. <gasps> uh oh. This is uh the alternative. The nine branch. Man- the alternative title to this podcast is called. Uh, do we even know? It says. Words. Okay, hold on. No, go back. It says. Images. You just got it's rid nine. of it. They're no, it says go back. Go back. <laughs> that one only is. This is it says, exhilarating. Quote, <laughs> if you find what appears to be a Hanukkah menorah with room for only eight candles, either the shim- shimash? I'm sorry. I'm just going to apologize for that pronunciation. Shimash. Arm is missing, broken, or possibly the item may be a candelabra, which is not a menorah. Okay, so eight is wrong. We also have to note the source is eBay. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, how, how do I MLA cite an eBay article? What's the uh, what's the APA citation? 
for five eBay. Bucks. Five bucks. I think it's you nine. Just, it's five bucks. You put the price. <laughs> but you like you light it like the whole time though. I think it stays lit. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not during the holidays. Ooh, oh man. I thought we bonded over something, but no. <laughs> no, or two foils did it. So I think this one is going to be a little bit shorter because we got some other stuff to go to. That's pretty cool. We can do another one. A different yeah, somebody else. else. Uh, so, wait, what do you guys think? Do we answer that. I'm closing, closing questions. Okay. Right now. So. Damn it! I had a question. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> too bad. Um, ten out of ten. But instead of saying Merry Christmas, they say Merry Chrysler. Yes. Yeah, I would do it. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> bah. Ooh, are you saying no? I'm gonna guess based on the entire ideal of it being surrounded by a holiday. Bah. Audience member, yes or no? Ooh, she's thinking. That's yeah, never good. Do it. You do it? All right. So I think that's, uh, I would say yes as well. So I think four to one. Not a very controversial Not one. Not a very controversial one. Do we have, does anybody have a real, real quick one they thought of? So this person, like, <laughs> they, are they, <laughs> are they a conservative Christian? No. But they're only conservative in this one aspect about Christmas. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Christ yeah. Sir. They don't follow many yeah. of the other things. Okay. Like, that might not be your perfect right. person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, do we want to do another <laughs> 10 out of 10, another or do we want better. to move on to another segment? We can keep moving, and if anyone... If anybody an has one in their head. Oh, uh, oh resident Bahumburger. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Archie, uh, what do you have? Archie Bahumburger. I'm like the Hamburglar. Ooh, boy, Ooh. humbugs. Humbugs. Mm. Hum- mm. Uh, mm. 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 Maybe. Um, 10 out of 10, but once a year... They tried to kill you. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Not very holiday. They they, they they black out on Christmas. On Christmas. Okay, Christmas. I was gonna say, was it just a random day? But it's so it's on Christmas. Oh, but like I expect it. You, you so know I can it's like plan happen. for it. Yeah, but they're gonna try as hard as they can to kill you. So they like black out during. Yeah, this? They, they don't. They, they don't become know. like. But they don't they, know. Do they, they, they like? They don't like, know. <laughs> I can't tell. They dress them. up. I can't explain to them. You, they won't. They, they won't believe. What do they? What do they dress up as? Uh, some type of holiday figure. Ooh. So is like it like, depending on, on okay. Important. You know what? It's on December 31st, actually. Do they dress Ooh. up as Black Peter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, like, important distinction. Do they turn back to normal after they've attempted it? And no, it's for a full 24 for hours. For full... Unless they succeed, but that would <sighs> yeah, be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dead anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it wouldn't matter. Could, what if you um, stage it so that they think that you died. Oh shit! Yeah, would they I mean, like I you would mysteriously die ever December thirty first? No, 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 no! Like they personally think that they they already they succeeded. are succe- they are successful, and then they like a, they you convince them enough that they were they are See, satisfied. But my ten out of ten would always get the job done. <laughs> oh, dude. So <laughs> this person would. There's this this person would really try. I couldn't fake it. They're gonna bury your body, you know, like. The oh guy. wait, what if I say I want to be cremated? No, <laughs> well, but yeah. even you could do a lot. You could just fake your death and then like have like a fake. Body. I want to take a sub question, Harish. How are you gonna fake your death? Because we all <laughs> no, know no, you're gonna do no, it. No, like, okay. So like, if they were. <laughs> See, this is. It depends on uh, their uh, preferred method method of trying to kill you. Because if it was something that, like, what, like, I mean, obviously, if they were, like, trying to stab you to death, that'd be a little bit harder. Mm. But, like... There's this Indian movie, um, where, like, this girl thinks she's possessed by a ghost, but she's actually just crazy, and she wants to kill her husband, and so, like, they do this whole thing where, like, they fake killing him, and then she's cured by fake killing him. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. No, it happens every year. If you can just, like, convince... (laughs) We just, it's our new Christmas pageant. (laughs) A fake killing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's more of a it's a holiday to you guys, you know. Cause Kill like, your spouse day. Cause like it's fun, it's cute, romantic. They they might not believe mm-hmm. you, but like your friends and family would. They could help yeah. you. Yeah. But would they try to be like this person is insane? Let's yeah. This person's her. trying to kill you. This person is not just like oh, she's trying to kill me. It's <laughs> she's trying to murder. She's a person. literally trying to yeah. kill you. Like and if she's caught by the cops, it's attempted murder. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, but you know it's right. You know yeah, it's like, not I don't think your... literally like none of my friends would support a relationship with someone. That's probably like that, which is good. Yeah. Good friends, but good like friends. the rest of the year, they're perfect and though. There's true love, you know. It's <sighs> like this such a hard It's choice. like well, you know what? Ella enchanted. It's like Wait, day. but you would have to be like capable of not being murdered the first time. 
Because you wouldn't know it's happening. Yeah, it's a surprise Ooh, the first the time. First time you're the like, first time you're like, oh, no. Up. Or maybe they sit you down, like, December 1st. They're like, listen, in Wait, 30 so days. Wait, so they don't know about it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're right, you're right, you're right. Just kidding, just, just kidding. kidding. Their mom, the parents So, like, knows. the first time you would have, the parent, oh, the parent knows. Because she's... Yeah, yeah. They've oh, it's killed, every they've killed before. They've killed before, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they've killed oh before. My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. So now it's 10 out of 10, but they're a murderer and they'll try to kill you once a year. Uh, they're, they're not a murderer. It's it's something else that's a murderer. Oh, oh my like my the God. demon inside yeah. them. I was like, they've killed before. <laughs> they're bloodthirsty. <laughs> Um, it was an accident the first time. See, like, I would have to hope that I would say no because, like, I don't think I'd survive the first one. No. <laughs> Unless I was told. Yeah, I don't think. Like, but, I'd be like, hey, why you, uh, hug? Sure. If I was, if I was told by, like, my significant other's, like, family member that they were going to try and kill me and that they were already <laughs> murdered someone, I'd be like, okay, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. that would be an out. I would have yeah. been out there. But they're perfect. See, and that's the whole idea. Of See, but I don't think I, I don't think I can even get to that like, point to find out that they were perfect for me because I'd be like, I'm not gonna date no, someone this who has like, on their hands. I I imagine like this conversation isn't like the first time you meet their parents. This is no, like no. once you're in a serious relationship a serious with relationship. them. So, in fact, the parents sit addition. down. It doesn't happen until you guys are truly in love. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, that makes it harder. So maybe for the first the first year, like it doesn't happen, but the next year, like they have to be. But in love she's with still. They still like haven't love is never admit to what us if you start, what that if they've you killed start... a person. Do they know they've? They killed... don't know. Uh, only the parents. The know. parents know. They're trying to. Pr- if, listen, if you knew that you killed someone and then you can't control it, would you oh, yeah, continue? Yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I wouldn't. Oh, I'd kill again. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take it up as a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> like, this yeah. Is, this is me now. I'd, yeah. Oh man, you know that file is going to be played at my court date. <laughs> 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 I'd kill again. <laughs> James Wagner, 2016. Yeah. Hashtag, no, don't. Let's not hashtag that one. Let's avoid that one for the hashtag. Let's, if, but if you were going to hashtag it, no, it would no, be no, no, James Wagner, actual murderer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, and with that, let's close questions. Uh, okay, uh, this is a hard choice. So this person, possibly James. What? No. <laughs> well, Jackie, that be mean, careful. That does mean I'm at a 10 out of 10 for people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I might take that. You're someone's 10 out of 10. Jackie, get out. <laughs> get out while you can. Uh, yeah, anyways. Um, I don't... I, I would say no. I don't oh. think I could do it. I think I'd say yes. And just... Uh, but they've killed before. That's the problem. <laughs> Okay, wait. Oh, I can't ask questions. No more questions. No, no more questions. Mm. No, it's another, it. like, mental illness thing. Like, I'd want to take care of them. I'll add that Cause Cause they may it... have killed before. No, you said questions are over, buddy. <laughs> that's not a question. Yeah, that's just him yeah. saying stuff. Maybe they've never been in love before. Right. I, okay. What is love? I, I think Sorry. I'll, I think I'll say yes. Okay. Nice. Lauren? Um, I'd say... If I didn't, I would not start dating a murderer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like, if I, f- like, sorry, I think I would- murder bachelors. <laughs> yeah. I can't I wait for the new ABC uh, TV show, <laughs> Murder <laughs> Bachelor. Um, Homicides of the Heart. Like I, I think I would. I don't think I'd survive. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I don't think. It, I don't then, think it would be my decision. And then, and then they would go on to kill again. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to. I would not oh. be the final girl in this situation. No. Yeah. I don't think. All right. Uh, audience member. Audience member Sydney Lawson. So I have a thought. So oh. I think that if they are truly your ten out of ten, they're perfect for you. That means they're trained in combat and they like, <laughs> they are like experienced. Not assassins, but like they're ex- experienced in like helping defend you. So in, it's in like you will not survive that one day because they're that good if they're a ten out of ten. So you're you, ten because your your ten out of ten does not half ass. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so it's in my best interest to survive. I just can't do it if I want to survive. So what was the but answer? If I want to die for love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I don't know. Um, no, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because life is more important than love. Ooh. Ooh. Sydney Lawson, 2K16. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, my quote is that I'm a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is murder, bachelor. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so that's been that's been a holiday. Wait, RG didn't. RG didn't. Oh yeah, RG didn't. The clock strikes midnight on December thirtieth. It is now December thirty-first. From the other room, you hear a vase drop and break. You lock your door. That was a metallic vase. Thank you. <laughs> we bought it at Lowe's. <laughs> you know what's about to happen. You hear running down the hallway and then slamming at your door. It's your significant other. That is the that is vigorous slamming. You say to yourself, <laughs> vigorous, vigorous slamming. I bet her I bet her hands hurt from doing that vigorous slamming. Their hands. Their hands. Don't want to. Bare hands. No They're bare hands. Wrong. Anyways. I'm a bear. Yeah. You grab the knife from under your pillow. You know you must defend yourself from your true Shing. love. Eventually, your partner's head breaks through the door. Hello, sweetie. She's, he or she they, says, yeah. they say. You know what you must do. They approach you. They're getting closer and closer. And so you do what you must do. You drive the knife through their heart. <gasps> Jing. Their me. last words are, I still love you. As, as the life fades from their eyes. So yes or no? <laughs> no, that, that's crazy. Why would you do I that? I just fucking knock her out for a day. <laughs> yeah. Knock him out. That's abuse. <laughs> yeah, but they're this trying to kill you. This, this yeah. reminds me kind of like, um, I don't want to bring too much sci-fi in it, but like a werewolf. <gasps> yeah. You know, yeah. just lock them up. Just yeah. Or yeah. are they aware they're a wolf? Uh, are they they aware they're a wolf? Shout out to Kanye. <laughs> Kanye twenty twenty. Because like if they're yeah if they're it would be like if you're dating a werewolf but less often which is like yeah. ideal situation werewolf are trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. Ideal situation. Ideal situation. Now we all know uh, Lauren's really, ideal. Now really we know Lauren's like, ten out of ten. <laughs> also so a like, werewolf. December thirtieth. You'd have to just like. Like just December thirtieth at midnight, you just have to like lock them in some yes room. Yeah, but like on the as you're locking up, they're like, "What are you doing?" I no, know. You're After locking. they're asleep, I just put some more like sleeping. Just like, or, stuff. like you're gonna drug you know, your partner. I'm gonna fucking drug her. Yeah, cause she's trying to kill me. <laughs> just, just like rec you can just record them. Be like, "This is what you were doing." Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Be yeah, like, they you won't were, believe it. You no. had a gun out of nowhere, <laughs> and uh, we're wow, shooting. Wow, that's at a me. different story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's been ten out of ten. As a, of course, a very morbid from the anti-holiday. I think my official uh, answer is that I'd try. Yeah. <laughs> I'd try. You wouldn't survive. I don't think I'd survive. It's like, maybe I would. I don't know, but I'd try. I was hoping our holiday ten out of ten would be more jolly Uplifting. and cheery, but it was quite morbid. Exactly. We can, exactly. Well, what, if we think of another one, we'll come back. We'll, we'll come back. But now I want to do a segment. Uh, this is a test segment. Test segment. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a test segment, and it's called... We brought him up in the last podcast. It's the wonderful actor Nicolas Cage. No. Yes. Well, I mean... No, the segment is... I know. I'm getting to the title. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And so we're going to talk about <laughs> Ooh, it. Ooh, sassy. And we're going to be in the Nick Cage that's the name Everybody of the, the, is the, the Nick, Nick Cage. Cage. The Nick Play Cage. Play the theme song. Play the theme song. In the Nick Cage. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have all gotten into a steel cage. The Nick Cage. The Nick wow, Cage. Wow, it's so <laughs> weird that that, like, who built this place? Is this chicken wire? Because you just pushed a button and now there's a steel cage around us. Mm hmm. Yes. Yep. Don't ask Illuminati. So, and it was so silent too. Like I yeah. couldn't even hear anything going. We, up. we did it during the theme song. Oh, so <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So this uh, the this, Nick Cage. The Nick Cage. We're gonna talk about Nick. Saint Nick. Saint Nicholas. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, a twist. It's not is, the Nick you were thinking of. Yeah. yeah we're not gonna talk about Fuck Nicholas you. Cage. We, we cannot be. Um... No, we cannot, <laughs> we cannot be. Cannot be oh, wait. A cage. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Too late. Just the Nick Cage. <laughs> Only we ourselves can put ourselves in the cage. <laughs> and we did. And we did. <laughs> we enjoy it. We wait, enjoy can it. we use this Nick Cage for our significant other that's trying to kill us? <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> we'll put them Dude, in the Nick cage. if you have a secret cage that just pops up around them, as soon as they turn, it. build yeah. it in your house. Build okay, the Nick first, cage. Okay, first. Okay, here's the plan make money, be rich, <laughs> mm -hmm. build a special house. Where like make uh, money, be rich, oh, okay. be rich. <laughs> you insist. Easy. Build a secret cage that goes under, like, around your bed, you know, and then like the right day before, they, right when they're click like, it, waking up. 
Could yeah. you imagine being when the person asleep. who's installing that cage? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, They're just gonna think That's yes, I want shit. an unbreakable cage <laughs> that it can in three <laughs> seconds come out and enclose the bed. Yes. <laughs> Make it skinnier so a wife could not escape it. <laughs> <laughs> or, husband. or husband. Well, this is me. <laughs> Um, so we're in the Nick Cage. <laughs> we're in the Nick Cage. Small deviation from the Nick Cage, but we're back in. We're back in the Nick Cage. We're talking Saint Nick. We're talking Saint Nick. Do you guys like Saint Nick? I already know what Archie's answer is going to be. Are we talking the historical Saint Nick or the Santa Claus Saint Nick? Let's go historical. What do you know about Saint Nick? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I did like learn about this kind of. St. Nicholas story. He, like, saved a bunch of kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Well, it's a good thing that we're talking about the historic (laughs) St. Nick, because I actually have a St. Nick quiz. Oh, no. Ready for everybody. (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah, y'all ready for this St. Nicholas quiz? This is a historic (laughs) quiz. (laughs) 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 Oh, you can't sing that. That's copyrighted. No. no. (laughs) Um, It was less than 10 seconds. Yeah, we're good. (laughs) SoundCloud won't flag us. Anyways, we don't even put it on SoundCloud. (laughs) Um, So there's going to be a three-question quiz. And you guys have to try to pick the right answer. Whoever wins gets to get out of the knit cage first and taunt us. <laughs> from outside the from cage. From outside the cage. All right? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I just love this segment so much. And this is the first time we're doing it. <laughs> okay. Number one. I'm. Tr- it's hard to tell. I'm just... I, is Sydney in the cage or not? It's just hard to tell. Ooh, she got cut in her. half by the cage. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. No, it's just her head. It's stuck in the cage like a dog. A dog out of a too small doggy door. I feel like they can't see me. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have to describe it. So she can participate if she can hear us from her, yeah, her just head. Her head's in here. Her head's in here. She can listen. Yeah. And also, it's a cage. You can hear outside of a cage. <laughs> Anyways, but it's- the first question in the three-part Nicholas St. Nicholas quiz. Number one. St. Nicholas is known for spreading joy to children all around, but he wasn't always as joyous. In fact, he had... Herpes. Herpes. <laughs> Dang it. RG already got the first question. Hey. Oh, man. The, okay, so I'll read the actual que- the, all the answers to the question. So it was, he's not always been joyous. He has, and then A was herpes. B was a lack of focus in his job field, <laughs> and C was an allergy to peppermint. Um, I was going to go with B. You were going to go with B. I would have gone with B. And unfortunately, uh, Sydney found the Crisco we held in the corner and slipped her head out. <laughs> so she is no longer with us. She so she cannot answer. So RG, RG got the point. I think it's obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> he got, he even, he knew it before. He must have read the Wikipedia. Yeah. All right. Um, question number two. The St. Nicholas, after having found his cure for herpes, is known for liking one strange food item. What is it? Is it A, pickles, (laughs) (laughs) B, cucumbers, or C, cucumber water, or D, pickle juice? (laughs) <laughs> oh. What is it? Pickles. Pickle juice. Cucumber water. <laughs> and RG gets it <laughs> oh, again. Oh. Is that just like drained cucumbers? You just like yeah, squeeze it? Yeah, it's the it. pickle juice before the... <laughs> so it's vinegar. Cucumber becomes... It's basically just vinegar. <laughs> what? With some other pickling agents. I thought that was water where they infused cucumbers. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Cucumber water. <laughs> That's like, like a thing. That, no, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 But no, it's, it's not cucumber water. It is the stuff, the pickle juice, before <laughs> the pickle becomes a pickle. Of course it is. St. Nick is disgusting. <laughs> All right. So this isn't looking good for the idea <laughs> of a holiday themed St. Nick. It looks like RG is one, every single yeah. one. I think he's going to take it away, but let's see who can get the next place. All right. Third. With a nice glass of cucumber water in his hands and his herpes cured, St. Nick has a favorite toy that he likes to give to each and every child. What is it? A. A Tickle Me Almo. It's an Alamo that you can tickle. B. A can 
of Heinz tomato soup. <laughs> C. <laughs> a package of fruit flavored lifesavers. <laughs> but he ate all the lemon limes out of it. What an ass. Or D. <laughs> Those are the best ones. <laughs> Just a soggy piece of toast. <laughs> what is St. Nicholas's favorite gift? Soggy toast. <sighs> I was going to say that. Same. Well, you guys can all say the same. <laughs> soggy, toast. <laughs> soggy toast. Soggy toast. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got it again! Yes! <laughs> Finally, I'm on the board. But you're tied with Lauren. So those were the three yeah. questions. Archie, the Christmas hater. You know so much Wait, about Archie, Christmas. Wait, Archie! You know so much about St. Nick. What has Wait, hurt you? Hold on. Wait! Wait! Is he, is he St. Nick trying to convince us that he's not? <laughs> guys, rip. Oh, oh my no. god! You ripped his face up! It's so funny! It is so much Oh fun. man! <laughs> I forgot I wasn't wearing a mask. Oh. <laughs> I guess we were wrong. <laughs> it's just Archie. What is happening? And he just hates Christmas. <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> I've never seen someone what's underneath someone's skin before. Oh is my it bad? God. Is it oh, bad? It's so bad. Oh man. You are red. <laughs> But not white, so it's not that Christmassy. <laughs> for, for a second, I thought maybe I was St. Nicholas. I thought maybe you guys convinced me I was. But I'm not. But why would you rip your face off? I thought it was a mask. No, RG. You're oh. yourself. Oh. Oh. oh, man. Is this why you hate the holidays? Yeah, this happens every year. Oh, my gosh. I think, guys, we just made it worse for RG. We just ah, made the holidays bad. worse. <laughs> For RG. Four you out know of five bags. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. If you grow a beard, it'll cover it up. <laughs> it'll cover it up the scar tissue. I can't you know grow what? a beard. <laughs> you know what? Is this what you thought? <laughs> you have a fake beard. <laughs> it was just reminded of beards. I can use a fake, a fake white beard and maybe a red hat. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then, to and cover then it. it'll just like, I have rosy cheeks. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh my god. I know, I know you are becoming what you would hate, but I think something to cheer you up. Since you have had this tragic experience, Ooh. another one possibly on Christmas. Wait, I think our I think our other guest is here. I think he's I think he's coming into the studio. He's no, he's not coming into the studio. He's coming wait, into. Wait, we're a, still in the rage cage. I mean the. the oh wait, the okay. Let me let me get this cage out. <laughs> we're opening the door to the Nick cage. <laughs> the Nick cage is open. All right, he, here he's coming. It's. Harisha Claus. No. <laughs> Harisha Claus, thanks for visiting on this very special holiday episode. Hey, man. That's what I do. Yeah, just visit on podcasts for their holiday episodes. That's me, Harisha Claus. Harisha Claus. <laughs> All right. Uh, ah. now. Hello, RG. Ah. You've been, you know, Bad. I know you hate the holiday season, but, like, I... I I'm a creeper. I watch it. <laughs> wait, the Risha Claus. This is exactly what I'm talking about. But, but this wait, is exactly what wait, I'm talking about. I watch people and judge them, put them on lists, so I can decide whether they deserve presents or not presents. So what distinct you normal? What distinct you from Santa Claus? I told Claus? you I'm a creeper. <laughs> what distinct you from Santa Claus? It's he the does... way I talk, you know. Hey man. <laughs> oh, you're just more chill. Yeah, I'm that's just... why he uses the term <laughs> creeper it's, instead it's, of it's... the proper term stalker. Yeah. yeah, it's the secular version. Yeah, he's the right. secular. I am non-denominational. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know somebody who celebrates the holidays and is also non-denominational. I wish he was here to see you. Who? His name is Harish. <gasps> Wait. Maybe he's named after you. Wasn't he on this podcast before I showed up? Yeah. <laughs> wait, is he wearing a mask? Um, wait, wait, is that a Claus? Are you wait. wearing a mask? Guys, uh, let's not okay. jump to conclusions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Harish got stuck in the Nick Cage when it was going over. <laughs> oh, I did. Um, we did hear scream. <laughs> yeah. um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm here. Wait, Harish, uh, are you up there? Yes, I am. <laughs> His <laughs> voice is like this. <laughs> Is there also <laughs> helium up there? <laughs> well, I'm so high, you know. I'm just high up in the air physically. Yeah, okay, I'm we'll, my voice high. we'll we'll get somebody to get you down. All right, buddy. Yeah. yeah okay, we that got. That would be ideal. Okay, we we got another guest, so we'll talk to him in the meantime. <laughs> anyway, speaking of Harisha Claus. <laughs> so what do you what do you think you can? How do you think you can spread the Christmas well, cheer I mean, to RG? I was gonna say, you know, 
uh, you hate Christmas, you hate the holiday season, but holidays, like, yeah. I've been watching you all year, and you're a really good guy. <gasps> oh. And, I mean, I didn't want to, I didn't want to put you on Stop the nice this. list. Stop this. But I, I mean, no. we have disagreements on yeah. fundamental stuff. Uh, fundamental reality, yeah, yeah, yeah basis yeah. of reality. We have a lot of he's, disagreements. He's a uh, pro birth. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big I'm fan saying, of birth. <laughs> if you don't want a baby, don't give birth to it. You know, <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> keep it in there. RG is a huge anti-birther. <laughs> don't birth, don't birth it. Hey, don't have a baby. Don't do it. Just leave and it in there. C-section yeah. that. Get it out of there. <laughs> you know, um, and so like, I I didn't want to put you on the good list, but the Stop. truth is, Stop. opinions aren't always, like, what decides your morality. And oh, that's a great quote. <laughs> making sure you include all the <laughs> ellipses. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so I just wanted to say, Archie, Archie Barton. He's Richard, holding his hand. Don't, don't say it. Richard Wait, Glenn Barton II. Don't say it. Your full name. I know it because I'm a creeper. <laughs> um, <laughs> Makes sense. You are on the nice list. <gasps> and you're at the top of the nice list. <gasps> 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 Oh my gosh. Wow, the bar is set pretty low. Because <laughs> there's a whole month in this year where I'm I mean, not good. You know, I was focusing on you. I kind of like neglected other people. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I was trying to find something bad. And it was really hard. It was hard. I'll, I'll show you something bad. <laughs> uh, let's not. Okay. Are we going to kiss or what? Is it how you make toys? <laughs> yeah. 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 Archie is taking off his clothes. And he is in a morph suit. That is red and green. <laughs> oh my god. The whole You're time. in the whole holiday colors. What? Yeah. <laughs> How did this happen? Archie, have you secretly wanted to like Christmas this whole time? Yes. Oh. I want to like it. I want to not be aware of consumerism. Same. I want to celebrate. <gasps> is this going to be your first Christmas in a long time since... <laughs> The incident? <laughs> you know, the incident scarred a lot of people. No, the not the time where you ripped your face off. <laughs> oh, well, that literally that scarred literally you. Scar yeah, yeah. No, that the, the one that happened on your 10th birthday, which is also Christmas. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. But, but we for will. Of exposition. <laughs> we will talk about it. Hey, talk about wait, it. I'll use my magical powers so we can have a flashback. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I can't wait for Christmas, son. <laughs> yes, father. <laughs> Your dad yep. and I. I'm also a dad, and here's our third dad. <laughs> yep, I'm the third dad. We're very progressive. Dads. <laughs> uh, you're no Christmas this year. No what? Christmas. What? I know you love it, but we hate it. But so what? Um, we don't. We want to stop bringing. Plants in the house? Yes. No more trees. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. more trees. What? It, it helps. I mean, it adds oxygen, but it also takes off car carbon dioxide, and we want to get high. But it's a dead... <laughs> <laughs> Th oh. You're three stoner dads. <laughs> yeah. I'm ten. Yes, you are. Yes. This is going to scar you for life. Maybe. <laughs> oh, we're going bad. <laughs> I forgot you had three dads. <laughs> yeah. That's not what scarred me as a kid, though. That's a normal thing that can happen. That's a normal thing that That's, can happen. Yeah. But what did scar me <laughs> is that they did not want to celebrate the holidays, and, and they just wanted to get high. They wanted to smoke yeah. their tree, not decorate. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to smoke their tree. Got it. That's the subtitle of the podcast. <laughs> they wanted to smoke the tree, not, not decorate. decorate it. Uh, yeah. It's, it's just since then, I didn't realize that you can celebrate the holidays without... Smoking trees. Without blazing it up. Without blazing up with your three dads. No. Archie, to quote a very special friend of mine. I'm hurried to class, by the way. To quote <laughs> a very special friend of mine. You can do anything if you believe. <gasps> That's Reese's well, catchphrase. <laughs> oh, look, yeah, let's look, go up here. look, he just dislodged and is falling from the top. Uh, no, and this goes, save him. Oh, save her, oh, oh. Ooh, Magical powers. <laughs> this is a long oh, fall. <laughs> That was really high. <laughs> He's slowly floating down to the ground now. Quick, click your heels three times. Oh, he went back to Kansas. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we all know who reaches from Kansas. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get him back later. All right. Well, That's not the worst place to be. Well, this is... With that, I think we're going to end the I think page. we're going to... And I think this is a good kind of wrapping up point I for... I want to actually talk about comedy rating for a hot second. All right. We'll talk about it. We'll take a, we'll take a break. <laughs> From the crazy. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. 
Um, <laughs> okay. That's Harish. Uh, hey, whoa, guys. I just appeared. And oh, Harish and Claus disappeared. You missed it. Harish and Claus Kansas. sacrificed himself. Whoa. He just came back. He ripped his face off. <laughs> oh, no. And then you appeared. I think he's in the back with some ice. I think we're good. Though. Okay. That, that helps. It does help. Uh, um, we have not talked about comedy rating in quite a while on this podcast. <laughs> Um, so why start now? <laughs> <laughs> but just, and since this is the holiday edition, and I think all of us... Wait, I don't think you have. You know you have. Um, written uh, holiday pieces for the Sundown. Oh, yeah. I oh. just wanted to talk about it a little bit. I need to submit mine. <laughs> <laughs> so has neither of our guests written holiday pieces? I've written a holiday piece. Oh, okay. yeah, you just, I've got, written two. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I was a contributor on Snake Man Day. Yeah, yeah you were. Yeah, you helped. Okay. You're, you're the, you did the art. I was um, the so is there like anything when you're going into writing a holiday piece uh do you treat it differently than any other piece Mm -hmm. i get under a mistletoe (laughs) before i write that way i feel extra festive and i get little kisses i join i get kisses from the the mistletoe and (laughs) rg they're from me miss rg barton (laughs) Mm -hmm. uh no i miss you too Mm -hmm. i don't think i really treat it separately the the problem so like i don't like to write I don't like to be forced to write something. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, if I have a good idea, I'll write it. But Regardless of the theme. Yeah. He also doesn't sign checks. So, like, if... <laughs> I don't <laughs> sign checks. Um, if, uh, so, if, like, I'm aiming to write a holiday piece, that, like, kind of restricts my creativity yeah, to like sound. You, you yeah, know? you almost, like, get mad at it. Yeah, yeah. So, like... That's why I don't write stuff like that usually. See, like, I feel like it, I find it easier because if I'm like, if I just sit down and I'm like, I want to write a piece, it's harder for me. But I'm, right. I'm like, oh, I want to write a holiday piece. Let me think about like things that everyone knows that involve the holidays. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like yeah. they really play off kind of the stereotypes of holidays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of parodying yeah. stereotype yeah. based yeah. stuff. There's yeah. not really a lot of like original. Oh. <laughs> Except for Chet's nuts. No, just <laughs> Chet. Little Drummer Butt is pretty original. <laughs> it's like it's a parody Guys, of a song. Parody, Guys, yeah. turn down the podcast. Go listen to, Go Little, listen Drummer, to Little Drummer Butt. Little Drummer Butt. We'll, we'll wait. wait. We'll yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> right into the mic. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, because like when, I, when it comes to that kind of stuff, I find it easier. Except for Halloween. I can't sit down and just write a Halloween piece because, I mean, I, mean I, d- I have before, but I was kind of like, oh, I, I ran out of everything. Mm-hmm. With that one Halloween piece. See, for me, you know, I just got done with a big old yawn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I understand where you are, audience. Um, <laughs> but for me, I, I, t- I look at it the same way that people, like, I have difficulty writing stand up because mm-hmm. I have difficulty doing, like, okay, here's a thing and now I'm going to riff about it. Yeah. I would much rather just be like, oh, I'm just going to write for X amount of time. And sometimes I have an idea. Um, like my other holiday pieces, I've had ideas and then I've written past that. And so. I think for me the key thing is to be like I got to force myself to write. I got to write one. Yeah. But and usually I have and the thing is you don't always have to go off of if you can think of like one joke off of something and then you can make it Christmas theme. Yeah, that's true. I I just like personally really like the holiday season. Um so it's easy for me to write about it cuz like I just enjoy it. Mm-hmm. It makes me happy. Yeah, Tis okay. the season. Tis, Tis the, the season, season to be that's gonna, that's gonna be really loud. To get the I literally heard an echo. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The holiday season. Kick microphones. Go, go, go. Um, It'll be an entire arena with one microphone. Our audience member is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Where's the woo? Do the woo. Woo. There we go. Um, yeah. So I, I, 25 days of holiday day, day, days. Got and that's it. That's what we're at. Um, it's like my favorite because oh, I mean last year I had to write a lot because like we kept not having any to publish so Ivy would be like we need a stat and I'm like oh, I got it like literally um last time I wrote a piece on Christmas Eve to be published Christmas because we needed that 25th <laughs> day um so I, don't, I feel I feel like it's easier for me to write holiday pieces like I have a couple in the think tank but I haven't written them down why'd you bring the think tank with you <laughs> oh, <it's> so gross <laughs> There's also fish in It's really heavy. It's yeah. really heavy. You, I brought did you it all carry the way it from home. Yeah. All the way over from your undisclosed location of a home? Let's see. <laughs> oh. Oh, your idea. You keep them inside of dead fish. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> 
Chet's Nuts. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do a one. volume two. <laughs> Chet's Nuts. We'll still put that scared of my nuts. nuts. <laughs> no, he's not scared <laughs> of his nuts. nuts. Now he's Chet's scared nuts. of his nuts. Chet's Nuts do scared. <laughs> he's scared of his nuts. I, I like he the title. His nuts will revolt. I like the title. Chet's Nuts scared four. <laughs> nuts. That's the fourth it's one. The <laughs> <laughs> like uh, a movie with four in it that Scream. makes sense. They put Scream Four. With yeah. They put they, in or Fantastic or, Four. Fantastic. Fantastic. Too fan, fan fast. Too furious. Yeah, but I was looking for examples with four in it. Well, yeah. <laughs> four. No, sh- with Scream Four. Scream they put four. they put the four instead of forum. the A. Scream Four. Scream Four. And Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, now that we got our four base titles out of the way. Yeah, and we talked about comedy writing. Does anyone else want to add anything about comedy writing? <laughs> yeah, that's enough comedy writing Do you have for any me. comments on comedy writing? Uh, uh, audience um, member? Finish your drafts. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Sydney Lawson, 2K16. <laughs> finish, finish your drafts. drafts. Finish your drafts. Um, all right, you're all drafted into my army then. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Still well, my quote. <laughs> now, now that we're back, uh, RG, I'm glad you're happy about the holidays again. We'll see how this goes. You we'll know? see how this goes. I'll give it a chance. I can't even remember chance. how any of that concluded. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't either. <laughs> we worked out his issues through that oh, flashback. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> through the flashback, we figured out. We learned that he won, had three dads, <laughs> three dads. which is okay. <laughs> which is fine. Yeah, very which is okay. Yeah. Especially when Archie was 10. That was very progressive. Mm-hmm. Yes. Possibly oh, illegal. Yeah. That was in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't have to be married. You don't have to be married to be dead. They just be hanging out. Just yeah. hanging out. <laughs> Three dads hanging out. Uh, That's a family. The weed, the weed was <laughs> the biggest issue. issue. Yeah, the, the weed, weed was, was the biggest like, issue. I was 10. Yeah, and yeah. they were openly just token it up. Yeah, I'd say the real scarring part was like because they also grew weed. So oh. like, yeah. when the police no. broke down our door on on Christmas. You Eve. have a lot of other issues. <laughs> yeah, they all stem from the three all dads. Around. Pie, though, it's yeah. like how um, it's the pot though. It's not the three dads. No, it's, <laughs> the, it's the pot. It's like how drugs aren't cool, James. It's like <laughs> drugs aren't cool. It's like how uh, Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie, but it is. It is. Yeah. Your tragedy isn't a Christmas tragedy, but it is. But it is. It happened. It happened on, around. It's yeah. gonna affect everything it. that everything that's ever happened to you that's bad has been on Christmas. It's been in the yeah. holidays, like in December. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. We got over it. That's good. It's He's a fun okay time. mentally now. Um, well, uh, so I think it's a process. Could be. I think we should well, recovering. we should finish up with plugs. I got a special bit at the end that I haven't told anybody about. Oh, no, but we'll we'll do plugs first, and then we'll do the special bit at the end. So uh, I'll start so that way I can get it prepared. Um, I'd like to plug reindeer. I never see reindeer in the rain; always the snow. What's up with that name, James Wagner? <laughs> All right, that's what I'm plugging. Concept classic of reindeer. Classic. All right, we'll just uh-huh. do uh, uh, class clockwise. Follow me on Twitter or at Molly is Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cindy, do you have a do you have a plug? Yeah, I'd like to plug natural male enhancement because it's the gift Hot. that keeps on giving. Ooh. Oh, sure. Ooh. this Christmas season. Spicy. <laughs> um, the reason for the season. I'm gonna plug uh, people who don't do Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> Cause I really, I don't, I really hate it, and so if you don't do it, I'm plugging you. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm plugging you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna plug uh, my my new animated animated series, uh, Three Dads Just Hanging Out. <laughs> yes. Three cool dads. Th- three cool um, dads. It's just three dads. It's just three dads. That's it. And as always, <laughs> um, check out more content on the site sundial.osu.edu. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at the Sundial OSU, and you can also tweet at what were they gonna tweet at us? Uh, me and Mitchell's. Um, um, oh cool. yes, tweet at us. Name. Tweet at us what you think Mitchell and Harish's uh, co- uh, couple name should be, <laughs> and There's your favorite color. And your fa- <laughs> and your. We just want to know. I so like Hitchell, Marish, <laughs> <laughs> Menon, um, Harish and Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, Mitchell. whatever you think their couple names should be, um, tweet at us at the Sunday LSU. Done on. <laughs> like it's done bar and then on. Um, done on. Men, men bar. Men bar. Ooh. I'd go, I'd, I'd, I'd men go to on that. and done bar. Um, <laughs> Some people exclusively men, go to men bars. Men on Ooh. bar. <laughs> men on bar. Okay, we'll, any, we'll, we'll, let you. we'll let you think about that and tweet at us. And um, you can also email us. And whatever you want at the sundown magazine at gmail.com if you have a suggestion for a 10 out of 10 or if you have anything you want to talk about on the podcast or literally whatever 
email us, uh, tweet at us, like us on Facebook, <laughs> message us on Facebook. Um, RG's gonna make toys for you. <laughs> and um, that's all for me. We're gonna I'm okay. with James, whatever he's gonna do. So now that it is the Christmas season, I thought we would all sing to spread the Christmas cheer. All right, we're going to sing Oh Christmas Tree, but to avoid copyright claims, we're going to sing Oh Christmas Bee, because the bees are still an issue. Yeah. Especially Christmas bees. Especially Christmas bees. In so, Ohio. <clears throat> hopefully everybody can see the yeah. lyrics that I don't have. <laughs> Our audience member will Command Plus. Us. Okay. Uh, where's Bob? Right there. Every time we say B, we should do something different. <laughs> okay, we'll just sing. I'm going to sing it in B. The okay, RG will be our B singer, yes. and then we'll all form a quartet, <laughs> and we'll sing it. Oh Christmas bee, oh Christmas bee, the leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas bee, oh Christmas bee, the leaves are so Changing. Not only green, the bees are dying, but also wind is cold and dear. R and B. Oh, oh Christmas bee. Oh Christmas bee. The leaves are so unchanging. Yeah. Country. Country. Oh. Second verse. Oh, country. Okay. Oh, oh Christmas. Tree. That's it for the podcast. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Anything for the tag? I have to go to work.